Hi Year 6 teachers and Year 6 students. My name's Craig O'Connor and um, I'm from Tool High School. I'm talking to you today about what high school's like and the different kinds of things you can expect when you come across to high school. My message for you today is pretty simple. High school is very much like primary school. There are some differences, but most things are the same and we'll talk about that as we go through today. Um, firstly, I have two main jobs uh, that re revolve around um, Year 6s and Year 7s. Um, I'm a Year 7 coordinator, which means that I look after Year 7s when they're here at high school. I will catch up with you on a regular basis, I will see how you're going, I'll make sure things are good. If things aren't going well, I'll try and help you to make them go better. So it's a very um, well-being kind of pastoral role, I guess, for my, as a Year 7 coordinator. The other job I have is, uh, is what we're, I guess, mainly talking about today, which is transition. So that's the movement from Year 6 through to Year 7 at high school. And my job in that is to make sure that when you come to high school, um, you really enjoy it as much as possible. And you don't feel uncomfortable about coming over, you don't feel worried, because you have information and knowledge around what's going to be happening. As I said at the start, high school is very much like primary school. We do a lot of things that are very similar. Um, I will be talking to your teachers as well as talking to you. I'll talk to them individually about how you're going, how we can help you, what best works for you. And we want to make sure that you have a very comfortable transition in your movement from Year 6 this year to Year 7. We have a couple of days where you come and visit high school. You'll um, spend two days in uh, Week 9 of Term 4, seeing what high school is like. And as I said, I'll talk to your teachers, I'll be in some of your schools having a chat with you and let you know more about high school as we go through the year. So I'm going to uh, continue talking, but at the moment I'm going to show you some pictures a bit about high school. For example, at lunchtime you can choose to sit with your friends or go on the oval or hard courts for ball games. Of course you need to wear a hat, just like in primary school. When the bell goes for class, we expect you to be ready to go in on time. You need to do your best and treat them with respect, just like in primary school. At breaks, we have a canteen, just like you guys do. We think we've taken all the good things about primary school and put them into Year 7, so that the step up from Year 6 to Year 7 is not that hard. For example, in Year 7, you stay in the same class all day for the whole year. In fact, most of the time, you'll be in one block of classrooms. Of our four lessons per day, you could be in the same room. You'll have a maximum of about six teachers. You have the same teacher for maths and science, you have another teacher for both English and history and geography. How do you know what you're doing each day? You have a timetable. Guess what? If you think about your classroom now, I bet you have a timetable already. For example, on Monday, first thing you do, first thing you do, you know what it is. On Wednesday, after big lunch, you have whatever. So you know what you're doing, you already have a timetable. Things you'll study include English. Math, science, history, geography, music, language, HP, art. That sound familiar? Just like you're doing now. What I would like you to do is think of any questions you may have and pass them to your teachers. They can send them on to me and I'll get answers back to you. Remember, much of high school is just like primary school. Sure, there's a few differences, but most of the new year sevens will tell you that after a week or so, you feel fine. Your nervousness disappears very quickly and you soon work out what each bell signals and where everything's located and the people you need to know. Yes, we expect you to work hard, but so do your primary school teachers. So, thanks for your time. Um, I hope you've got some information about uh, high school that will help you to feel a bit more comfortable, as I said. Um, and we'll be catching up with you guys pretty soon, either at your school or when you come to visit our school if you come to Tuller in 2021. Thanks very much. And remember, any questions you have about things that have been talked about today, can you please, them, please pass them back through your teachers and they can send them to me and I'll get back to you as soon as I can to um, give you that information. Thanks everyone, have a great day.